Hello, hello, it's Man of Popsicle here, hopefully a quick demonstration of what I call C jumping, or classic jumping. So, just a quick demo, if you were to go into an area where free roam is allowed but classic isn't, and then you switch over to classic, and then free roam again, it snaps you to the nearest classic position. Yawn. Not really that interesting. Until you pair it up <coughs> with the sage corruption glitch that I discovered a couple weeks ago. So, let's do it. Um, I have a particular save in mind, and I'm actually going to use it twice to demonstrate surface level and really deep stuff with it. So, let's go. Zip, zip. Alright, so. Now I've teleported to a particular area, classic free roam, at the same time. So if you do sage glitch and then you do classic jumping, you can jump to a place which is normally inaccessible um, by means of a regular sage glitch, but it will teleport you to the nearest classic. So I can now instantly be at the pump in front of the ship. That's not what's interesting about this glitch. And this glitch can be used for so much more. I'm actually going to demonstrate with the same save, but a little bit of a different twist on it. So, let's go. Um, open the same save, load it up, and this time I'm actually going to wait for me to fall. I have to use a visual cue here. I'm falling, snap to classic, then to free roam, and I am in a tunnel. I can't see much. Oh, okay, there we go. So, I'm in a tunnel now. Yes, that's correct. I'm in an unpumped tunnel in Sears. So as a demonstration, you go through here, grab Sears' page, whoop, and then I'm going to run back up. Hopefully this is as cool as it looks to me. Uh, so going up this tunnel, do, 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 and bam. Yeah, that's correct. I can walk out of a pump tunnel, but you can't walk back in. Minor glitch in unity, which basically means that you can use this save in particular to teleport to Sirius's page, and then if you, this is on the second run around, you grab the page, run up, go back into here, because this would already be unlocked from a second go around, and you're done. That's it. No pumping, no nothing. You just skip all of that. Which is amazing, because that means there's inaccessible areas that you can access using Sage Glitch plus Sea Jumping. But... There's a bit of a caveat concerning the Maze Runner, unfortunately. With the Maze Runner, um, you actually need a trigger on the ship to unlock the room, otherwise the room is inaccessible. I have done a lot of sea jumping testing in the pit that's left by the Maze Runner when you go on the second go-around. No dice. There's almost no way to get through. Um, you can even, if you're not careful, end up unloading everything concerning the rail and not even have the rail load. Um, so, it's it's kind of a big issue. Um, sea jumping in that tunnel in particular, all it does is it teleports you to the surface, which is kind of cool, but at the same time it doesn't give you that extension that you need. But sea jumping can be used for, for example, teleporting directly to Cirrus's room in Mechanical Age. If you just teleported out in the ocean, the closest classical position is in fact Cirrus's age. Um, room rather. Which is awesome. I just skipped this entire thing, and I have a page. This is impossible. Uh, I'm still working on the routing for it, but that basically means that this run is probably cut by at least three to four, if not way more minutes, by skipping a lot of walking and, and all that. So, um, thanks for watching. Uh, any concerns, comments, cool glitches, I would, I would rather appreciate it if there were a way to skip the Maze Runner. <coughs> um, so uh, yeah, just contact me through YouTube or through the forum, speedrun, SDA, whatever floats your boat, and uh, thanks for watching.